Thank you. Well, temperatures starting to feel a little more like fall, so before you know it, winter's here. That's why you got to get the house ready now. Yes, before the cold arrives, Doug Anderson from the EPA's Energy Star program is back to show us how we can do that. Thanks for coming back with Glad us. Glad to be here. All right, so we have a diagram first here. First, we're going to do a little picture pages. Yes, this is our weather map of a house. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's cold outside, it's warm inside in the winter. That warm air wants to rise right up. You can see those red arrows. That's the warm air going out the top of your house where all the air leaks are, mm -hmm. around your attic hatch and other places like that. Sealing those air leaks and adding insulation is going to make your home more comfortable, mm -hmm. energy efficient, and if it's energy efficient, we're also helping the environment by reducing air pollution. Okay, so if you decide you want to do this yourself, how do you make sure you've got the right amount of insulation? And does insulation uh, lose its effectiveness over time? No, typically no. Sometimes it can settle, especially uh -huh. the old time. These kinds are all designed to really keep their fluff over time. But just getting a ruler like this, a mm -hmm. tape measure, and we're asking people to go out and try this. We're calling it Rule Your Attic. Get out, measure the insulation, see how much you've got. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a shorter way of doing it. If you go up in your attic and you can see the tops of these joists, these mm -hmm. beams, that means you probably have about half of the insulation you should. As a matter of fact, really? this is about a month the insulation you should have in your attic. You should bury those things. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so you should be on top of it. I, exactly. Every attic I've ever been in, you walk on these yeah. beams. That's you know, right. And well, you're not that's the right amount. That's going to save you the most energy. Okay, okay. so if, like I said, you want to do this yourself. Where are some of the other places you need to look at in your home to s stop that leakage of air? Well, uh, there's all kinds of places around your house. Um, uh, up in the attic, we had the diagram there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the, the tools that you would use would be caulk, spray foam, um, also, you know, places would be like your outlets. Mm -hmm. But And then once you get that done, you can add the insulation, cellulose, fiberglass, mm -hmm. and we have a do-it-yourself guide right here that you can use. It's available at energystar.gov. Yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, the fiberglass, you really have to be head-to-toe covered still with this uh, stuff, or have they made it better? It's a dust mask is, is all you need. Okay. It's really the dust in your attic that's going to cause you uh -huh. to sneeze, really. So the other thing is not everybody wants to do it yourself. Sure. So hiring a contractor, call your local utility. They have you know, rebates, they have contractor lists, or home performance with Energy Star is another place you can look. On average, you do this, whether you have a contract or you do it yeah. yourself, how much money do you end up saving uh, over the winter? About 10% on your annual energy bill, a little bit less in your south, and maybe even up to 15% in a, if you're in a northern state, because this insulation works best where it's really cold. Wow, and you want more information, where can you go? Energystar.gov. All righty, Doug, Thanks. thank you Always so much. I love when you come, you have the greatest stuff. We do too. Thank you love so much. It. All right, well, the Gulf Coast drenched with more than a half foot of rain in the last 24 hours.